Hello there everyone. <laughs> I'm back here with the Omega Machine and about 10 pounds of chicken thighs and I'm about to make some dog food. So I cooked this chicken thigh pile in the Instapot for an hour and a half with a quart of water and a splash of um, apple cider vinegar and that's going to get processed right through this Omega machine. Okay. Here we go. Get it in there and the bone too. The bone uh, because it had the vinegar in the uh, Instapot. When I cook the chicken, it breaks the bone down. <laughs> you get these delightful logs of chicken pate. <laughs> it just cracks me up. Uh, you can use a whole entire chicken, even a turkey. Um, when they would do the promotional grocery store, I think, doing turkeys, I would always get a few. Pressure cook the whole entire bird, save the best parts for the humans, and turn the rest into pate for the dog. <laughs> it's so appetizing. <laughs> This bone just comes apart, so in it goes. All right, so repeat that until the 10 pounds of chicken has been processed. So while that is busy getting processed, I have poured the broth from the uh, pressure cooked chicken into this pot with two bags of barley in there. Okay, so I'm gonna bring that to a boil, let it simmer for about 20 minutes, and then let it sit for another 20 minutes. And that is ingredient two of the dog food. And number three is a whole bunch of carrots, which now that I've emptied the Instapot liner, those are going into the Instapot and they're gonna pressure cook for five or 10 minutes and be added through the Omega machine. The dogs don't really wanna eat the big chunks of the carrot for some reason, but if it goes through <laughs> and takes this lovely form, they slop it right up. And the final ingredient of the four ingredient dog food is frozen peas. I do uh, four pounds for this amount of chicken for 10 pounds of chicken. And this is a great rainy day activity as well. Monsoon season is upon us and it is coming down. <laughs> So I'll come back to you later with a part two after, after I portion this out. All right, cheers and blessings. Thanks a lot. Well, hello folks. I'm back to finishing up this homemade dog food, four ingredient homemade dog food using the Omega machine. And now what's going through is chopped carrots that were pressure cooked in the Instapot for 10 minutes and then they came down from pressure. I vented it at the end and it made it smell deliciously like fresh carrots in the RV. But yes, watch this. I swear playing with this machine brings out my inner child. 
It's like something from Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. <laughs> so you push it in. It goes through the macerator, the auger, and you know that's just homemade goodness coming out of the nozzle. <laughs> Yep, it looks like dog's dinner, but it smells like, you know, a soup kitchen. It's chicken soup for the dog's soul. And it is about a dollar a pound. So if you price that out for grain-free kibble, um, you're on par with the least expensive. Right, so... Uh, Other things can be added to this, like if I have a plethora of eggs, I'll usually hard boil whatever will fit in the bottom of my pot, which is about 14 eggs, and I'll hard boil those and shove the whole egg through this thing. <laughs> it's hilarious. Another thing I like to add are chicken livers, which we actually had to add, and I forgot to put them in. But so you can get whatever is the cheapest cut of meat available, or grow your own, and if you cook it long enough, and especially if you add some ACV, you can definitely process the bones along with the rest, the eggshells, and you create this wonderful dog food texture pate. So I portion this out into uh, little Tupperware thingies. Not, you know, name brand Tupperware. I shouldn't eat. That's like saying Kleenex or Xerox. See, I'm showing my age. Anyways, it kind of resembles a truck stop bathroom. <laughs> Happy dog food making, people. Cheers and blessings. Okay, here is the portioning ver uh, portion, <laughs> the portioning portion of this video. And this, I think this is a 15 gallon, no, 15 quart dishwashing tub that was filled up most of the way with the dog food. And that has generated this leftover bit that I'm going to give to Brisket right now. But then two 48-ounce tubs. Well, the 48 is just down here, so that's a lot more. And then I, this one's not marked in a place that I can read after I filled it. And these are marked 12 at their halfway point, so I'm saying 24. So Brisket usually will eat one of these per day, and he'll eat one of these in three days. So that's how much dog food, the four ingredients with 10 pounds of chicken thighs, two packets of barley, and that is considered grain free because for some reason barley is considered a grass. It's very soothing to the gut. It's very mucilaginous and easy to digest. Anyways, uh, the vet told us that everyone should eat more barley. And okay, so about five pounds of carrots and four pounds of frozen peas. So thanks for watching. I hope you're having a great Father's Day. Cheers and blessings. Bye bye.